So, hello everyone. Good afternoon. So, I think pwede na po tayo mag-start. Okay. Good afternoon and thank you for attending our quick sales webinar. I am Anna Osigan, your representative and speaker for this webinar. We have our panelist, Mark Fernandez. He will be responsible to answer all your questions. Just send your question to the chat on the chat box and we will be happy to answer your question. So in this webinar, I will be presenting the facility access solutions for vertical industries using the Grand Stream products. So without further ado, let's begin. So we all know that facility access and building security is an important component for any office warehouse, retail space, medical clinic, and more, ensuring the safety of not only employees and guests, but also the content within the building is critical to the success of the business. Building a facility access system may seem like a daunting task, especially to small businesses who do not always have the resources to properly manage these systems. So Grandstream and Alloy are here to help. Our facility access and security solutions are easy to set up and provide centralized management options that can be configured for small to large deployments. So first, the logistics and warehouses deployment. So with this deployment, a manager can set up a GSC 3570, the HD Intercom and Facility Control Station, at their desk to monitor activity throughout the warehouse. So the, the device can be configured to remotely and securely open doors with Grandstream's facility access systems. With a GDS 3710, a video door system, or GDS 3705, an audio door system installed outside of the warehouse or next to loading door. A lock can be wired directly to the GDS series device to control the door from inside, allowing the manager on the, GD, on the GSC 3570 to monitor and accepting incoming deliveries while creating a more secure solution. The control station can, be, can also be connected to up to 32 of Grandstream's HD IP cameras, the GSC 3600 series, allowing the video monitoring throughout the entire warehouse, both inside and outside. And in a logistics environment, being able to communicate hands-free is key. It can be hard to deliver mass announcements relating to scheduling, incoming deliveries, or emergencies. Grandstream's GSC 3505 and GSC 3510, the intercom and paging devices, provide a reliable source of, in of instant communication to all workers. Announcement can be made a uh, directly from facility control station, the GSC 3570, allowing the warehouse manager to communicate with their employees quickly and effectively throughout the entire facility. Next. So next deployment is for college campus. On a college campus, security is critical. So if you have ever stepped foot on a college campus, you have likely noticed security station throughout the campus. 
A station can be configured by connecting a GST 3510, the SIP speaker, and GST 3600 series, the HD IP cameras, which can all be monitored directly from a computer or the GST 3570 at the campus security office. The GSC 3570 supports up to four SIP accounts, offering a variety of ways to easily dispatch help, including an SOS button. The GSC 3600 series of HD IP cameras can be set up so when the motion is detected next to a safety station or any key area of campus, the device can trigger an alarm and automatically send an email with a snapshot of the motion detected. This provides the security office with advance notice of activity in the area and they can be prepared to handle the situation before the call is even made. The GDS 3705, the audio door system, Features dual microphones and HD loudspeaker with advanced AEC to offer intercom functionality and has a built-in RFID chip, chip reader and keypad for secured keyless or key entry, ideal for dormitories, gyms, and other campus buildings. So in a resident assistant office, a GSC 3570 can be set up on the desk to monitor incoming guests throughout the day and open doors directly from the device to students who may have forgotten their PIN or key fob. So the third one is hospital deployment. Hello. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, sorry for the technical error. <laughs> um, the third deployment is hospital for the hospital. So in hospital settings where there is there is an influx of staffs, staff, doctors, nurses, patients, and guests, keeping the facility secure can be hard task. However, with the right tools and systems in place, monitoring the facility can be done easily and securely. In high security areas such as the ICU, pharmacy, or data storage room, where the hospital wants to monitor those incoming and going, a GDS 3705 should be deployed outside of the room. Those provided with the PIN or key fob will automatically be let in, while perhaps a family member who wants to visit a loved one in the ICU, they can approach the door, hit the doorbell, and a nurse or staff attendant at the front desk can automatically open the door directly from the GSC 3570, the control station, after check-in. Additionally, 
after hours when staff is limited and there may not be front desk staff. The GSD 3570 control station provides nurses with a device to be notified or notified of visitors from inside the unit. A reliable two-way communication system is necessary to communicate with patients and staff and can narrow response time and even um, increase safety. So by using the GSC 3570, the control station, an admin can use the GSC series of SIP or intercom devices to deliver important announcements and pages. A staff can also use a zip phone to call the extension of the GSC series for announcements and pages. And lastly, the apartment buildings. So luxury apartment buildings offer their residents top of the line amenities but most importantly, security. So residents choose these buildings because they, uh, they offer secure, controlled, managed access to residents and their guests only. The GSC 3570 teamed up with GDS series facility access systems, offer a great solution for controlling and managing access to an apartment building. So multiple GSC 3570s can be connected to a single GDS 3710 HD video door system. So allowing each resident to have a control station located directly in their unit, as well as control station for building staff and security. So this allows residents to visually see who is ringing the doorbell and allow or deny access. A GSC 3570 can be installed on, on the concierge desk to allow them to monitor security cameras throughout the building as well as control building access. So for, the re, for the video recording, uh, Grandstream's G-Surf Pro version 2 provides free video management software or VMS for PC-based video recording of GSC series IP cameras and GDS series devices. G-Surf Pro version 2 supports remote viewing, controlling, and recording from anywhere on the internet or within a corporate network. So physical security is not only important to safeguard the people, but it can reduce liabilities, insurance, and protect physical assets inside. So in the, in the case that there is a break or emergency, having the physical evidence of a security event is key to finding out what happened and how to prevent it from getting worse or happening again. So Grandstream, Grandstream's facility access security solutions can be combined with other Grandstream endpoints to offer a fully customizable solution to fit the, need, to fit the needs and budget of any businesses, organi organizations, or residents. So that ends my presentation. So also, we would just like to announce that LACP Trading have an ongoing promo for the WP820. Minimum purchase of five units get 20% off in every single transaction. So here are the promo mechanics. So number one. Promo runs from September, September 1 until supplies last. 
The promotion is open to all Alloy CP Trading certified reseller. Every single transaction purchase of five units of WPA20 is entitled for 20% discount. So the, re the reseller must like and follow our Facebook account and subscribe to Alloy YouTube account. Also, share this post with hashtag AlloyPH and hashtag your one word experience with AlloyPH on your Facebook account. And payment should be made within the period, within the promo period. And for the last mechanic, mechanics, once qualified, Alloy CP Trading Sales Representative will send an email to the reseller to get them notified. And for the next promo, the GWN7600 series, the access point, um, purchase at least five in addition, keep the first four free. Offer valid until September 30, 2021, and for one purchase only. And also, we have buy one, get one free for the GVC3200 series. 3200, the video conferencing bundled with GAC2500. So for more inquiries about the promos, please email us at, alloy, uh, at sales at alloy.com.ph. Also, uh, Grandstream offers an ex extremely wide portfolio of products that integrate together to provide a state-of-art solution. This is why we are excited to announce the new Grandstream Academy Self-Training Initiative. Take a self-guided training course and gain a specialist certification with Grandstream Unified Communications Solution. So through the self-training, you will learn how to install, deploy, and manage our UC portfolio. Uh, understand key Grandstream features and capabilities, and also you uh, earn a specialist certification on Grandstream Unified Communication Solutions. So Grandstream self-training allows you to, to learn from anywhere, at any time, and at your own so additional is additional announcement po. Uh, may magiging winner po ulit ng Grand Stream T-shirts and sa mga magiging winners, we will contact you po and uh, send you an email po. So this concludes the webinar. If you have any questions, just message us on the chat box. And we will be happy to answer your questions. So, pag may mga questions po sila, um, i-type lang po dito sa ating chat box and our technical and sales team is i-assist po namin kayo. And kung meron po silang questions po, uh, pwede din po kayong mag-unmute po. So, you can ask your questions po. So, thank you po, Sir Alvin. Yes, Sir John Villaga. Okay. Our technical can assist po. Um, Sir John Villaga cannot un unmute.
any questions sent earlier? Hi, Anna. Hi, yes, sir, John. Good afternoon. Yeah, yun, yun dati, good afternoon. Yung dati kasi is pang, ang, ang pagkakaintindi ko, uh -huh. the IPPBX is the center of the universe ng Grand Stream. Uh -huh. um, itong, itong mga uh, solutions ato, do they still need to be uh, connected to the PBX or they can operate as uh, autonomous units? Ah, okay. Sir, um, okay, our, uh, I think technical will uh, answer po this questions po. Pero I think, sir, um, kaila, kakailanganin din siya ng um, IPPBX din po. Same question for the um, access points. Kailan pa rin ba yung IPPBX for the, as the controller? Ah, okay. Sir, for that po, um, i-coordinate ko po din kay technical. I will double check po and then get back to you po for the access point. Hello. Uh, another question, yung uh, GDS 3710. Mm -hmm. So let's say, nasa apartment and then um, authorize yung pumasok. How does the tenant, uh, let's say, uh, i-disable niya yung, yung magnet dun sa door to authorize entry? Um, sige, sir. Uh, for that, sir, uh, our technical po will answer po dito sa ating uh, so questions since uh, mas ano po sila, um, knowledgeable for these uh, questions. Okay, thank you. Okay po. Thank you, Sir Jan. Uh, hello, good afternoon po, Sir Jan. Uh, this is Patrick po from Technical. Bali, sir, yung G GDS 37 then natin is tamper-proof naman. With regards naman dun sa magnet, ni, uh, nakadepende na yun sa install, uh, installation nung sa, kumbaga, sa door. O, hindi na si door system yung mag-handle nun. So, ang, bali, ang deployment lang nun, uh, magko-connect lang ng wire dun sa door system and then para ma-trigger yung sa uh, lock niya. Pero yung security, kumbaga, yun nga, yung tamper proof or security nung lock na yun, nakadepende na dun sa mag install So, with regards dun sa side ng GDS uh, 3710, tamper proof siya, hindi magagalaw yung wirings niya. Pero yung security na nung dun sa pinaka-lock mismo, uh, hindi na po si Grandstream yung may hawak nun. Uh, thank you, Patrick. I guess yung question ko is, let's say, uh, meron kang 10, 10, 10 uh, apartment doors. So, lahat sila, di ba, nakikita nila through this. Kung merong may bisita sila, makikita nila through this, right? Tama ba yun? Narinig mo. Ay, sorry. Uh, sorry Hello? Sorry. Ah, uh, sir, pasensya na po pa. Uh, pwedeng pa-repeat po na naka ano po ako naka mute yung sound ko. Oh, okay. So, let's say for example, meron tayong 10 10 uh, tenants in a building. Mm -mm. Um halimbawa, meron silang bisita. Let's say tenant 1 has a visitor. Makikita niya through this device, right? Makakausap yes, niya. Yes. Ngayon, uh, authorize siya. How will it instruct this device to open the door? Ah, okay. Bali, magsiset po tayo dun sa device uh, na nung ano, kumbaga, nung pag-unlock nung door, naisiset naman po kasi yun. Uh, usually, pag may nag-call, yung process niya, uh, yung default process niya, may magko-call, makikita mo na yung uh, display, nung, yung feed ng camera, and then may lalabas na option naman if you want to unlock the door. Through this device then siya yung mag, mag-disable ng magnet, tama ba? Yes po, sir. Opo. And then, ano yung device na tinitignan naman ng tenant? Ano yung, how does he view yung 
uh, ah, okay. feed ng camera. For the feed of the camera, pwede po itong uh, yung GSC 3570, uh, which is yun nga, yung kumaga pang all around. May option din naman tayo kung hindi yun yung gusto natin, pwede rin naman uh, video, IP, uh, video phone, video IP phone na touch screen. Pwede po yun, makikita yung feed doon. So, with that deployment po, uh, kailangan natin ng SIP uh, server. Kasi SIP uh, call na yung mangyayari doon eh. So, kung, lalo na kung uh, tulad po na sabi niyo sir, is multiple tenants, so iba-ibang pinto, ang pwede po natin gawin doon is, kumbaga, iset natin ng tigitig isa yung ano, uh, accounts. So, lalagyan natin ng SIP accounts. And then yung bisita, instead of doorbell, idadial niya doon mismo sa keypad ng ano, uh, door system yung SIP account ng ano, kumbaga. For example, si tenant one yung gusto niyang uh, kausapin. So, yun yung magre-ring. Kasi kung sa doorbell natin ilalagay, uh, baka uh, maisiset na ano eh, magre-ring lahat. So, gagawa na lang natin ng account each para predetermined na kung sino lang yung gusto nilang ma-reach. So, yung SIP will be interfacing to the Grand Stream IPPBX? Yes po. Apa. Okay. Pero sir, if ano po, uh, one is to one lang. So, door system and then si and then yung magre-receive na uh, IP phone, video IP phone, pwede naman pong wala ng ano, uh, SIP server. So, wala ng IPPBX. Ano na lang, kung mag prepare na lang sila using their IP addresses. Oh. Ayun po. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Any more questions po? Lucy Chano. Okay, may mga questions pa po sila. May mga questions pa po ba sila? And um, So I think pag uh, may naisip po sila na uh, questions po after this webinar, you can email us po at sales hello, at alloy. Uh, hello? Yes, sir. Ay, sir uh, yes, uh, oh, follow up ko lang yung question. Uh, uh -huh. Kung dun sa doorbell, peer-to-peer, uh, -peer, uh, pwede yun, ano, isang phone lang o pwedeng dalawang, uh, dalawang phone uh, kahit wala yung IPPBX? Okay. Sige, sir. I-forward namin ulit sa technical support po para Thank sagutin you. po yung question po nila. Uh, sir, for that, i-double check ko lang kasi ang usual deployment talaga since peer nga is one is to one. So, i-double check ko lang, sir. Tapos, uh, message na lang kita sa ano natin, Viber natin. Okay, Sir Gian. Thank you. So, may mga questions pa po. So, I think uh, pa pwede nang mag-end po kung wala na po tayong mga questions. And that will sum up the webinar. If you have any more questions, please send us an email to sales at alloy.com.ph and you can direct contact us through this number. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Alloy Computer Products Philippines, and follow our Facebook page, Alloy Philippines for more product updates. So thank you again for attending this webinar. God bless. Bye. Thank you.